I'm glad you're here. I'm Tay and today I'm actually going to be taking you through step by step how I created my 2022 vision board using Pinterest and Canva. I have another video that I'll have linked below that actually went through how I picked the photos that I would pick but this video is actually specifically once you have the images how you actually physically put the board together. So I'm going to take you over to my computer screen and we'll get started. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create a Pinterest board that you can store all of the images that you think you want on your vision board. And if you don't know how to do that, you just go to Pinterest and then when you find a photo that you like, you hit save, you come down here to create board if you are brand new to Pinterest or if you have boards, I would specifically create, create a new board that is vision board 2022 or whatever you need to do, just whatever you wanna title it to put your images all in one spot. So once you have all of your images, you're going to need to save them to your computer. So to do that, you can actually just come to the board where all of your images are at and on a desktop, you will right click and then you can just go to save image as. Once you do that, you can save them into a folder specifically for your vision board just so they're all in one spot. That's the best way that I think you could do it. One tip that I wanted to give you when looking for images on Pinterest is just to be very specific about what you're looking for. I know I said to be very specific about your goals, but also be very specific when you're typing in what you want on Pinterest. There's just so many things that sometimes it can be hard to find what you are looking for and you kind of want them to all be somewhat at least i wanted them to all be somewhat cohesive and another thing that i found is that when you're looking for images a lot of times obviously pinterest has a lot of like blog posts and everything on it so when you're searching for something if you put the word aesthetic behind it then it'll typically give you a different type of image for example i wanted a family dinner or a big a big table so if I put in family dinner aesthetic it will give me this image which is the one that I already have saved <laughs> that's why I did that um, but if I do it in here it'll bring more aesthetically pleasing images instead of if I do family dinner, it's going to bring me up recipes. So just a quick tip if you're having trouble finding your images. So again, once you have all your images, have them all saved to your computer, you're actually done with Pinterest. So you're gonna go to canva.com. Now I do have a paid membership through Canva. However, you can do this totally free. Um, you do have to create a login, I believe, but what you will do when you come here is in this what will you design you're going to type in photo collage and then it's going to bring up all of these options so some of these if you see in this bottom corner um, when they have this crown that says free, it means that this is what you'll have access to if you do not have a Canva subscription. So I will make sure that I do one, um, do one that would be free. So I like this one. So now that I have this, I'm going to just click. You can right click and delete, or you can hit the delete key on your keyboard. I'm gonna delete all the things that are like extra things that I'm not gonna want on my vision board. Um, and you can save what you want if you wanted to keep some of that extra stuff you can you're also going to want to go up to this resize and you're going to want to resize it so that it'll be the correct size when you are printing it so you just hit resize it was it wasn't off that much so once you have this you know, click where these images are and hit the delete key do not right click delete on these because it will delete this whole thing and we just want to delete the picture. So you're hitting the delete key on your keyboard. And I actually don't want these two that are connected. I just want these three. So I will take these, I will right click, copy, 
and I know I want a lot more images so I will paste more of these I don't want that either Okay, so you get however many that you want on your board, kind of, you don't necessarily have to place them at this point in time, but you can adjust the size by going into the corners so that you can have various sizes. If you hit these arrows, you can rotate them. So we'll just do it like so. All right, so once you have however you want this to be, I do not like these either, actually. You will go to Uploads, and you will Upload Media. You will go to that folder that you saved all your images, select them all, and hit Open. And then all of your images will be in here. So once you have these, you can click and you can drag these to any of the boxes that you have. Now, obviously, since we copy and pasted these, all of these are the same shape, but say I wanted to have a more vertical rectangle, what you're going to do is you're going to go to elements and you're going to scroll down to frames, see all, and in here you will have the option, I want to keep the white border, so I will do this one. And then I want to put that over there. Delete that. I will go back to photos. Um, sorry, I will go to uploads. I will choose the image that was more vertical, and then you can have it be um, more vertical it also gives your board a little bit more more dimension and just if you have different si shapes and sizes so once you have all of your images in here and everything placed your board can look a little bit something like mine which if I go I will open go ahead and open mine your board can look a little bit something like this. Now, one thing I didn't go over is if you want to, like I put the word intentional across the front of my entire board. To do that, you would just go to text over here, um, pick one that you like, and you could just type it and you can place it. Another thing within Canva is that you can put things in front of or behind each other. So in order to do that, you would click on whatever you want and hit this position and you can move it forward or backward, um, whatever, whichever um, direction you want to go. So once you have that, you will hit download. Um, I changed mine to PDF print when I printed mine. If you want to leave it PNG, that's fine too. I just had better luck getting it to print correctly when I did the PDF print. So once you download it, it will be in your downloads folder on your computer and you can just open it and print it and then you will have a printed vision board for 2020. One thing I did want to mention is if you're in Canva, you can start from scratch and to do that, you would just hit create new design, tell it the dimensions, and then you can do the same steps that I told you to go to the frames and insert everything. I just found it was easier to start from something that I already liked because then it already kind of gave me an idea of what I wanted and it's not necessarily always easy for me to visualize something when I'm starting from scratch. So I liked having the blueprint there so that I knew kind of what it was gonna look like once I got all my images in. But that one's totally up to you and Canva allows you to do either. Hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'd be happy to help. Thanks, see you next time.